Okay, hello everyone. I'm just going to wait for a few people to join. few more people are joining so hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of the Hilti Live here on Facebook. My name is Annie and I'll be your digital account manager this afternoon. If you missed the first episode these episodes are 100% interactive so if you've got any comments or any questions you want to ask about anything throughout the whole video we'll respond, respond in throughout. If you're not watching live that is absolutely fine we'll respond to you as soon as we get a chance to um, and in the last episode we showcased the SF6H, which was a demonstration of the tool. In this one, we're going to be doing a full rebar application. And I'm here outside the Hilti Birmingham store today to show you that. Um, I'll, I've got everything lined up here, so I'll walk you through what we're going to use, and then I'm going to go on to do the application. So first up, for rebar, we have a mobile phone. So we use a Hilti app called Volume Calculator to calculate exactly how much resin you will need in your rebar application. So I've done that already, so I'll show you that when I come to it. We'll be using a virtually dust-free solution, but I will be needing all of my PPE, so I've got that set up there. I have two different types of drill bits to show you. I have the concrete drill bit, so this is our TEYX drill bit, and then I also have our hollow drill bit. Today I'll be using the hollow drill bit as it is part of the Hilti Safe Set solution. As you can see, there is four holes at the end there, you plug this into your vacuum and attach it to your drill and the dust gets sucked up through these four holes through this flute here and it comes out into the vacuum there so it's virtually dust free. As we are using rebar we have to pre-cut the rebar so I pre-cut my rebar to about 300 mil using the AG125. So this is one of the safest ways to cut rebar on sides is using a cordless grinder so you don't have any trailing leaves. using the volume calculator app and you just hold on to the trigger so again another user-friendly solution and this is a part of our Hilti safe set solution something else that we launched last month was the brand new Hilti hit HY200R resin so you may have seen the Hilti HY200A resin for anchors this one is R and this is for rebar. So we've made it three times stronger. It's got a hundred year guarantee and it's ETA approved. So I'm gonna be using this one today for the rebar application. I spoke about the volume calculator app. I'm just gonna show you what the PDF looks like that it brings up. So I've used this one and it tells me I need one plus two setting on my uh, resin dispenser. So I've already preset that, but that's what I'll be using. Now, as promised, I said I was going to show you the TE70, so that's the brand new combi hammer. So I'm just going to put my PPE in for that, and also the vacuum. I'm not sure if you can see that in the frame there, but that is the VC20UM. U stands for universal, so you can use it wet and dry, and M stands for M class. It did say it's virtually dust free, but you still need your PPE. We've already had a TE70, so you're probably wondering what the difference is between the two. This one has a brushless motor, so it's 50% more reliable than those on the market that does not have one. It is also 50% more powerful when drilling and chiseling. Other features on this tool is the AVR, so that's active vibration reduction. We have decoupled the tool body and the actual handle, so there's less vibration on the hand and the wrist. And it's also got active torque control, so if your drill bit gets stuck into the concrete and it jams, and it wants to kick out of control, the motor will cut off, preventing risk to injury of the hand, arm, and wrist there. So I've already preset it into the drilling and chiseling mode because we're drilling into the concrete, and I've pre-drilled just a little bit into there just so I'm not spending two minutes drilling a hole on this live here. So I'm gonna turn on the vacuum, put the rest of my PP on, and then drill, and as you'll be able to see, there is virtually no dust.
is the TE70. Now I'm going to use the resin for the HDE500. Uh, Preset the dial. No, I haven't. I'm going to do that now. So one plus two, like it said on the app. There is no need to clean out the hole because we've used the hollow drill bits and like I said, virtually dry spray and that's again part of the Hilti Safe Set solution. So that saves time on site doing that. There you go, that was the resin dispenser. And if you didn't hear me, I was saying that you do not need to blow out the hole using a hollow drill bit because it's part of the safe set solution. Now rebar. There you go, there you have it. That is the rebar application using the latest innovations here at Hilti. As mentioned, we'll be doing one of these a month, so next month you'll have Mel who will demonstrate a couple of the latest tools that we're launching next month. So thank you for watching, we will continue to answer any of your questions and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!